been away for far too long But now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling see that winter is coming i filmed this little section on my new phone i've gone for the iphone 16 looks pretty good i'm in cinematic mode right now and i'm wondering is this better than my actual camera i think it might be i mean it, it, no, this is 4k my actual camera only shoots in 1080 i need to upgrade well maybe i just did we bought this house at the wrong time of year i think because it's so cold now that you can't really enjoy the garden Although the flowers are still growing, as you've seen. I wanted to come out here and uh, test the camera out. I've done that. I'm going to get back in the warm. See you inside. Right, we are inside and we're in the lounge right now. As you can see, it's come on leaps and bounds since when we moved in. Everyone that's come to visit us has referred to it as cosy. And that is exactly what I was going for. So I'm really, really happy that the vision has been received by the people. We've got the gold paintings on the wall. We've got some cosy blankets. We need to replace the footstools and we need to replace the nest of tables. But other than that, I am pretty happy with this. I think it's looking how I sort of envisioned it, which is thumbs up. Let me give you a little look around the room from my point of view. This is how I see it. This is normally where I sit to watch a bit of bit of TV. Right now I've got Stretford Paddock, the uh, Manchester United fan channel on. Uh, they are, as you can see from the score there, picking the bones out of United's most recent disappointment, uh, which was we were 2-0 up against Porto, ended up drawing 3-3. You know, it's not ideal. Things not great at Man United at the minute, but these guys smashing it with their analysis as always. Yes, he does look a little bit like Jesus. That is actually a doorway, so that's a cupboard in there, which is where we keep the hoover. But it's hidden into the panelling, which I think is quite cool. It's a bit like a secret doorway. Um, we've got a doorstop here, which is strategically placed to ensure that when this door opens, it does not bump into the TV, which is there. Every season, we'll have a different pillow that will go on this chair that will make the room, you know, fit with the season. So right now, that is actually the wrong pillow. We should have an autumn pillow. See the gold light switch there that I'm pointing? I fitted that and it works. So very proud of that. That one and that one. Gold painting that we bought in Devon. Absolute beauty. Brought it back on the train. Look at it. And then if you look over here, the sun streaming in. Another sofa over there. Gold lamp stand. I love the way the sun kind of comes in and hits the wall. It's, it's beautiful sitting here. This room gets a lot of light, which is very nice. So the next room that we're actually going to decorate is going to be the spare room. Uh, we've got a bit of a vision. It, it, I'll tell you what, I'll take you up. Let's go and have a look at the vision for the spare room. Right, we've got three paint samples from Dulux. We ordered them online. We've got Blue Seduction 2. We've got Royal Regatta 5. And we've got Intense Azure, which was my favorite one. So let's give these a go. I'm gonna try and match it up to this. Show this. Don't get it on my carpet. I'm not gonna. Oh, the oh no! Oh, I've just made all I've done is made it worse, Joe. I think we're gonna need to get the Dr. Beckham out. Yeah, quick. Come, come on, Anna, play the game! If you know, you know. I always call this stuff Dr. Beckham, but it's not. It's Dr. Beckman. So that's cleaner than it's ever been now. No, it's no way. Not what I want. No. That is the one so far. So, so I thought the Azura one would be the favourite, and so far it's proven to be. Right, last one. Royal Regatta. No. No. It's a no, isn't it? Or do you want to do just a feature wall? There. Okay, so we're going for the whole room in that colour. We're inspired by our local, our favourite local cafe. And we love the colour. We thought it was very French. We like France. We've been there a few times. We love it. Our honeymoon was there. These books aren't going to be here, but we have got a piano here, um, which is staying in the room. Keep those. Are we keeping these? So Joe and I popped out for the afternoon to Macherie, which was the cafe that I told you about that inspired us to do the blue. You can kind of see the colour here. It's a bit bluer inside, but even the colours of the seats, you see, this is the blue and it inspired us. So we thought we'd pop back this afternoon, have a wine. Cheers, Joe. Cheers. A glass of French white to go with our, uh, I never normally have French white. Sauvignon Blanc, Marlborough, New Zealand normally. We've gone for a French white today because we're in a French restaurant. So we thought if they don't do it well, then a good French white doesn't exist. And I refuse to believe that's true. Cheers. Oh my word, Joe, lunch has arrived. That is not bad, is it? We've got a bit of marmalade, a bit of piccalilli, some pickle over there. Lots of cheese, grapes. Don't know about these red crackers, but we'll give them a try. Some fig, did I see a fig somewhere? There's a fig, yeah, a fig there. Some apple, some nuts in there. Don't know if you can see them, bit of bread, bit of Stilton, it's got it all. This is, this is very exciting. What a, look at this shot now. Beautiful wife, 
two glasses of white wine, nice big cheese board and blue skies. All right, we've come back. It's oh, a bit lighter, light, isn't, isn't it? it? I just wanted it to be a it's little bit, dark. when we put it on, it was look, a little bit darker, no, wasn't it? Look at the cushions. Yeah, that's what we're going that's for. That's what it was like earlier, now it's not. It's lightened off, maybe with another coat. And not only have we started work on the paint, but at the top of the stairs, we've got a big white space here and we found a picture of Jesus carrying a sheep. The story of the, when he leaves the 99 sheep and goes to find the one, and that is what Jesus is all about. And we want to put a picture of him there that we found. Right, I'm heading downstairs because I want to show you Right here, this is the lounge, which you've seen before. We wanted to replace this nest of tables, as I've mentioned a few times, and these footstools with a nice coffee table that's like this color. You see this brown wood here and the brown wood of the um, lamp shade over there, lamp stand. And we found one in a charity shop, uh, the same shop that has the picture of Jesus. So we bought it, it was only 40 quid and it's being delivered on Wednesday. So that is gonna go there. And just like that, it's Wednesday and the coffee table has just been delivered along with the painting of Jesus. They're both here. I'm fairly happy with the size of it. It's a nice big size. It's bigger than I remember it being. The color of it, not quite right. I think we're gonna have to varnish it. But that's not a problem. I have actually got some varnish ready to go. It's, it's a lot lighter than we want it to be. I'd rather it's this sort of uh, dark, you know, rich mahogany, as Ron Burgundy would say, color. That's what we're after. So I'm gonna varnish it that color, probably later on today. To be honest, I'm wondering if we even need these footstools. So as you can see, they're a bit, they're a bit grim and they're a bit old. The coffee table is almost the length of the whole sofa. And as you can see from the carpet or the rug here, it sort of makes it, the, they don't like sit evenly, if you see what I mean. They're like on the wonk when they're on the floor. So they're not gonna quite fit, I don't think. So we might have to get rid of these two. In fact, let me take them out now. Yeah, look at that. I, I think it looks better without the footstools. And the footstools being there doesn't really give it space to breathe. And we can always put our feet up on the table because most of the time it's just me and Joe sat here. So that's fine to do. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Charity shops for the win. I'm just blind to it now, but it doesn't look much darker to me. I mean, bear in mind that is the kind of color there that I was going for. It looks all right though, doesn't it? I think it sort of fits within the room once we've decorated it a little bit. There's a little candle on there, a few coffee table books, you know, books that are not really for reading, they're just for display, a few of them. Joe and I weren't happy with the paint samples that we did the other day. Let me just remind you of those colors. Not quite what we were looking for though, so I've ordered three more. I'm gonna whack them on the wall. You don't wanna watch paint dry, so let's just cut to the chase. Three, two, one, and there we go. Job done, they're on the wall. But the test is always after they've dried, so we're gonna come back to this in a little while because I uh, can't really judge a lot at the moment. So there you go, after all that testing and trying, we've gone back to the paint that we chose in the first place. <laughs> Intense as a uh, by Dulux. Let's get it on the walls. As you can see, progress has happened. We have got some things on walls. The paint has all dried in. It looks really good. We've even got a floor length mirror here. This was in our dressing room, but as we're going for the sort of French, chic, Parisian vibe, we have brought it in because this mirror fits perfectly with that vibe and it opens up the room as well. Um, and we've got the piano has been all cleaned and buffed out, looking nice and shiny. And we've got a couple of pictures on the wall. Now these two pictures, are me and Joe in New York. We are actually gonna change the prints that are in those to pictures of us in France, of course, because that is the vibe of the room. We've even got a mini Eiffel Tower here. These decorative bits, not necessarily gonna stay there permanently. That's just to give us a bit of an idea as to what it looks like. I am loving the vibes in this room. It's really getting there. Blue is a bit of a gamble. We don't normally go for blue rooms or, you know, we don't wear a lot of blue clothes. That's not really our sort of color, really. We had a vision based on our favorite local French cafe, as you've seen. And so far it's paying off. I feel like a few little touches, some nice cream curtains, and we're gonna be almost there. Well, I think this is gonna take longer than I thought. There is a row upon row of curtains and loads of them are pretty close to the color that I want. So it's gonna take a while. Right, they gotta be here somewhere. Hold on. Jennings, that's what I'm after. 
is that the right size? Which we can 172 28. That is the ones. I'm looking for a vase to go on top of the piano, quite like these. And this little round one is reduced to 1260. I don't know. I feel like it's the sort of thing where I'll buy it and Joe won't like it and I'll have to bring it back. I really like it. Not gonna lie, things escalated. I bought the vase, I bought the curtains, and I bought a mirror. What will Joe think? I'm fairly sure Joe's gonna be fine with the mirror. I also think she'll be absolutely fine with the curtains. But will she like the vase? Yes, they're fake, don't tell anyone. Oh, it looks good. I love the vase. Even if Joe doesn't like it, I'm a fan. I'm absolutely loving this side of the room. It looks so good. I mean, the can, I might replace the candle actually. Who knows? I, I don't think the size is right. I think, oh, I think it is. We're back out again. And we've seen another textured painting with a gold frame. So that's gonna, and it's got blue in it. So I think that might look good in the new room. And we've got a few other bits as well, a couple of bedside tables, blue uh, doorstop, and a blue candle as well. So we, you know, the grind never stops. All right, we're back from home sense with more additions to the spare room, including a doorstop, a candle in the correct color, with the correct scent, might I add. We've got bedside table number one, and bedside table number two. By the way, Jo was fine with the vase, and fine with the curtains, but the thing she was not fine with was the mirror. She said it had no character, but I disagree. how this room has turned out. It's pretty much ready. Couple of little bits to put on the wall. I say little bits, fairly big bits. Maybe a TV on that wall. Maybe some shelves on that wall. Uh, but we've not quite decided yet. But other than that, this room is pretty much done. And with that, this video is done. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Lots of um, home renovation, decoration content on this channel because that's where I'm at in life right now. <laughs> I've not done many uh, day trips and trips various places because life is busy, the day job is busy. And when I'm not day jobbing, I'm decorating. So that's what you're getting on this channel. Although the next video on this channel, me and Joe are heading on holiday to one of Europe's most well-renowned and cultured cities. And we're gonna have a little look around. So join us for that. But thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you, see you soon.